When I was uh, researching for this, I, I'd come across that you'd read a book called How to Retire at Age 35. Yep. And it kind of reminds me of like today, do you know the, the whole FIRE movement, financial independence, retire early people? Well, they, that's the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all, all these people now who are like engineers, they, they save money, they retire at 30 and live off ramen. Yep. So it sounds like you were the first one. Yep. That's exactly right, man. Live like a student. Live like a student. You know, if I could save $100,000, interest rates were a lot higher then, right? So, you know, if I could save $100,000 and live off of, you know, 50, you know, five, whatever it was, right? Um, 10,000, 100,000, 10% interest rate. So $100,000 went $10,000 a year, right? So if I can get up to $250,000, then I'd have $25,000. Could I live off of that? Yeah, back then I thought I could live off of it. And that was my orientation, save up enough so I could retire and live like a student. But what I find fascinating is like, what drove that psychology? Because you seem like someone who loves to work, loves to build things. So why do you care about retiring? Just because the, you know, the way I was raised, you know, my dad really didn't have his own time to himself, right? Every morning, you know, he was at work or leaving for work at 7 a.m., six days a week. You know, he got home at, you know, noon or one on Saturdays, and that was half a day off. You know, we love to take vacations, but, he, you know, he was always at the beck and call of somebody else. And he would always instill in me, you know, the most valuable asset you can ever possibly have is time. And to me, you know, and, and he always liked to say, you know, today's the youngest you'll ever be, live like it. And, and to me, just being able to just own my own time, like until I got an eye watch, I hadn't worn a watch in 30 years. The day I sold Micro Solutions, I took off my watch and said I'd never wear a watch again because that signified I have to be somewhere and pay attention to, to, to time that other people set for me, right? And to be on someone else's schedule. And, and so never wore a watch again until I got an eye watch. And that, that's why, you know, I just want to be able to do whatever I want, whenever I want, however I wanted to do it. And I got really good at it. 